So here it is, uh, quite a mess right now. As you can see, this thing was crashed and we've been taking parts off of it and we're about done with doing that. So let's get this thing ready to take to the scrap yard, get some money from it and get it out of our yard. There's where the crash happens, front right corner. It's all mangled there. Alrighty. Some more parts, big mess. So gonna do some cleanup. Let's get the tractor and get this thing dragged away. Okay, so as you saw, the bucket was not lifting very high. It turns out we were like completely out of hydraulic fluid. This thing leaks like crazy. So let's go ahead and add some in there and then we can lift the bucket. Much better. Okay, we're going to try seeing if we can lift the front end and then drive away with it. Uh, just dragging on the rear wheels. Yeah, the tractor bucket's been crooked ever since doing this. That'll be another adventure to fix. Yeah, as you can see, we're not having much luck here. There we go. We're just dragging it this way. Uh, not as much control, but it worked. So, now we're getting the winch, hooking it to the truck. Uh, right there, welded a receiver to the back of the truck so we can get the winch just slotted in nice and easy. It's been working out good for us. Just got to drop the battery on and jumper cable for now. One of these days we might get it rigged up better. Yeah, it's not sounding too happy. I think this is going to be a long process. It's this tire up here. It's just dragging sideways and digging into the dirt. Okay, so we came up with this awesome idea to jack it up and shove a log under it to try and get that corner to slide on. So, let's see if that helps at all. That thing is groaning. Alright, we're going to speed up for you a little bit here. So as you can see, we are just giving it a little bit at a time. we got to move that wheel straightened up again. Um, trying to get it up on the ramps straight is kind of difficult. It's almost coming off the side there. So a lot of back and forth, shove the log under more, back and forth again, straighten the wheel, make sure it's on the ramps, a little bit more again, that wheel's dragging, it's sliding a little easier once it's on the ramps and trailer here though, but just lots of slow going.
There you go. So here we are, as you see, we got it up on the trailer. That thing was not fun to do. It kept getting stuck with that one wheel, but it's getting ready, getting ready to go to the dump. Lots of junk. Uh-oh. All right. Got to strip some stuff off it still, take the tires off, uh, some of the exhaust components, maybe some suspension, just stuff that might be usable, but it's almost ready. All right. Stay tuned. Okay, we've got a special surprise coming here. We're at Walmart looking for something in the hardware department. Yeah, it looks like some paint. Spray paint. Why would we be needing spray paint? Some of you already know, but yeah, check it out. Yeah, I don't really like those prices. Um, we don't need the premium paint. Let's keep looking. We just need something cheap. Cheapest paint they got. There we go. I guess you need to be a certain age to buy spray paint. It used to be that way when I was a kid. Okay, get the last things off here. So what we're doing here is getting this gas tank off. We want to get the gas out. Of course, we don't want to bring all that to the junkyard, but we don't have anywhere to store this gas, so we're just going to keep it in the gas tank for now. Just cutting the hoses. Don't need to take it off nice and pretty. As you can see here, we're getting it closer. One wheel's removed. Got the transmission fluid draining out. Red color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we made a boo boo. I think it's cherry flavored. Oh, making me thirsty. Yeah. Yeah. Catching up that hole to make it look all good. Yeah, we gotta get some advertising for as we drive through town. Okay, here we are. This should be the day we're bringing this thing to the junkyard. Just gotta take a few last things off of it. It's getting pretty close. All right, let's do it. Getting closer. Gotta put the tailgate hatch back on so nothing blows out. Hopefully they take this thing. This thing is full. All right, this jack dropped so fast, so Gotta be prepared here when it comes down. It's gonna be pretty close to this red crate. So hopefully it doesn't grab the edge and throw splinters everywhere. How 
we're gonna get the jack out. Yep. Yeah, it looks like we need some larger logs. Okay, trying this again. This time we got some larger logs up front. Drop it down. Some grips. There we go. Junkie Jeep. Oh, I know that guy from YouTube. I know that guy. Nick Nonsense. Yeah. Bye bye, Junkie Jeep. I'll see you never again. What a pain that car is. YouTube. Yo, his door's open. Oh, it's Nick Nonsense. Yeah, so I did have to stop at the first gas station and tie that door down better. It was flying open on the highway. Okay, here comes the good part. We're pulling onto the scale here, eventually. You can see how much we weigh. Bring it in and get rid of it. Okay, 16,020 pounds as we go in. Just waiting for them to tell us to move forward. Alright, pull over on the side here towards that combine. Get your straps off, I'll have a guy come grab it off for you, okay? Okay, thanks. Look at all the cool stuff in here. Fun toys. Heading over towards this combine here to park. Fenders. There it is, gone. I didn't expect him to actually smash through the windows. That worked really good, though.
gonna have to pop from there. He's putting the glass on the ground. <laughs> yeah, well, I suppose it's better than falling off as we hit the highway. That's good enough. Hopefully we don't get flat tires. Cleaning up the bark from those logs we used. the voltmeter because we were 11.8 11.7 volts so now we gotta swap the alternator it never ends yeah mm -hmm. 